you need to place your hands on your back. We're disrupting a business meeting. We're disrupting a meeting? The other question I have then is, Shannon, as a giant bitch, how much research have you... Welcome back to the J-Town Press. Today, we have a video coming to you from the dreaded Rabble Rouser. He's out of Douglas County, Kansas. Make sure you go over there and check him out. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe his channel and show him some love. Tell him J-Town sent you. So Dr. Justin went into this Douglas County Commissioner's meeting to exercise his First Amendment, and he was arrested. Then he came back after he posted bond at the same meeting to make a comment. And this is also going to include an update that he just posted today. My name is Dr. Justin Spies. At last week's meeting, I recorded a public comment to someone else there, Commissioner yeah. Karen Whiteley. Quote, Karen, I want to begin I believe, by Justin, saying we're I, not going to allow the sign this time. I appreciate so your story. If you could please demeanor. put it down, that would be wonderful. What's wrong with the sign? We've What's been, wrong with the sign, we've Karen? Been warned. What's wrong with the sign? Do you have any other public comment that is unrelated? I sure do. They said, Karen, I want to begin by saying I appreciate your stoic demeanor and that you give the impression that you're really listening to us, and I appreciate that to no end. She was allowed by this commission to say that without interruption or muting her microphone. After her, I spoke and said the words out loud that are on my sign and was muted. Just so you all you out praise the sign and down. criticism. And I think we're done with your public comment. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm, I'm not allowed to, to say stay. what's on my sign. Thank you. In previous meetings, is there anyone else who would like? On the commission without being silenced, without fear of being silenced, they were afraid. I think to we could. Be... Like. We're here to thank you for your part. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate the effort you all. Have put is there anyone else who would like to give public comment? Since Justin, you're welcome. With this one. Justin, you can stay for the meeting with us, but your public comment is ended. Why is it ended? So the chair is going to call on the next person Why for public is, comment. This, this is protected speech. Why is my Sarah? This is protected speech. We need to get. You guys realize what's happening, right? Okay. For what? For what? First Amendment's getting taught in Douglas County tonight. I'm exercising my First Amendment right to speak to you guys. And it happened to be criticizing. But if I was saying, hey, you guys are the best. Perfectly fine. Justin, you're welcome to stay, but you need to take a seat. Are you guys alright? Yes. No. Sit down here. No. Yes. 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 And it's the truth. It's structured in the code is really about how we move a project forward in county regulations. Um, we talked a little bit about changing a little bit of the word for public public airports as well as private airstrips so, and, and how that lighting looks. And we definitely would be, would be reaching out to FAA staff. Beyond that, I do want to make a point of order before we start public comment and um, ask. Deputy, can you please have Justin just step back and stand near the wall? Um, you, we've been very patient. You've made your point. You can still stand there. You've been very close to staff. And I would just like you to step back because that's a traffic way for folks that may be leaving the room after their public comment. So you can just stand right next to I'll let me know when I made my point. Thank you. I don't care if you think I made my point. So I'll I'm asking, you know. I was speaking no, to no, you out you. of courtesy, no, and I'm asking the deputy to please have him step back against the wall. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm not doing it. Jeff, you know what? Yeah, don't, 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 don't. I'm not touching anything. Just step out. For you can what? stay, Justin. For what? I don't know. Clerk there have four people for public comment. That's all it is. It's so there's a, a good flow of travel for people. According to you. According to you. Step back, sir, please. I'm right here. Sorry, that was me reading signs. Look is at there a wall being broken, Deputy? Right um, yeah. Okay. Justin, the alternative is okay. to leave the meeting. Thank, thank so you. either please just take a step back we, 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 and just thank allow you, traffic flow and follow the deputy's orders, or please leave the meeting. Thank you, deputies. I think it's time. I'm sorry. Deputies, please. Just please. I'm not doing anything unlawful. I'm not doing nothing wrong. So you're going to move, so I'm not. Guys, you, you're going to violate his right. Is there a law being broken? If there's no law being broken, if there's no law being broken, you can't enforce anything. I have a right to be here like everybody else, so thank you. There's no law being broken. 
Justin, we've asked very nicely if, if, if we could have you either step back or leave the room. Point. I'm saying that we can get on with the meeting. I don't and understand. Deputies, I don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. There's no law being broken. Please continue the meeting. There's no law being broken. Thank you, public. I All right. Yeah. Deputies, don't do this. We are moving on. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, can we have you go over the, or I can do it also. Sure. Okay, we can take a quick break. And then I can announce the first couple names for public comment, and I'd like five minutes. So the first great. names are the first three. So we'll take a five minute break, and then we will start with public comment. We will recess until 6.20. Thank you, everyone. You guys cannot do that. You're asking those deputies to violate our rights, which is going to be putting them in the crosshairs for your bullshit. Why would you do that? Why? Well, you're going to long for the days when we did public comment and left. There's no law being broken. You can't charge anything. Try it. You can't charge me. What are you talking about? You're not. She says she's not. They asked her if she wants to trespass. She said. You can't trespass us. There's no law being broken. Did you guys literally ask them? What was the question then? She's saying she doesn't want to charge. You can't make us leave, Sarah. There's no law broken. Too bad. We're not leaving. Do you realize that you guys are going to violate the Constitution? We're going to sue over this. We're going to name you. I've got you on camera ordering it. They tried to tell you that there's no law being broken. We've explained to you that there's no law being broken. But you're still going to do this. This is Cone v. California in a nutshell, lady. Do you not get that? This is Cone v. California in a nutshell. It's packaged. <laughs> You haven't asked me to leave. <laughs> she can't. There's, there's no law being broken. There's no law being broken. Counselor. She needs your help over there. Yeah. Well, she's not asking for you, but she's about to violate her rights and throw us out of the room. Sorry, I don't have time to talk to you right now. Okay. I'm, but this is Cone v. California in a nutshell. You do understand that, right? Um, I understand, but we're also in a public space. We're in a designated public forum. He can ask you to ask me to step back, and I'm declining. I'm politely declining. Okay? This is Cone v. California in a nutshell, out Counselor, this is Cone v. California, Patrick. She's trying to make people leave. This is Cone v. California, perfectly packaged up. You do realize that, guys. You guys do realize that. Ask your counselor, please, before this happens. You're going to get the county seed, Patrick. This is Cone v. California in a nutshell, and we're not leaving. This is Cone v. California. Ladies and gentlemen, look up the 1970 decision in Cone v. California. It's a Supreme Court case that allows free speech. The man wore a jacket that said, fuck the draft. That's all this is. This is free speech. Bring the meeting back to order and let's continue. You're going to have to cuff us to take us out. He's not going to do it. So you're, his, you're, you're their little lap dog after making nice with me? Yeah, of course. Really? Too bad. Some of these old timers in the room might remember their parents fighting against a guy named Hitler. The younger generations forget those things. Sometimes the fight for free speech gets a little ugly, and that's all this is. It's not going to happen, Sarah. So we're resuming our meeting. Um, on the advice of council, we would like to ask deputies to remove our two sign holders from the room. I'm very sorry, we'd like to have you back next time. Um, but we have um, a, an orderly meeting to conduct here. So deputies, if you don't mind, thank you. We're declining, sir. We're declining. We're declining. Please continue the meeting. We're declining. Thank you. You've asked. Thank you. We're not leaving. Shh. 
There's no law being broken. Are we in recess? Thank you. Cone v. California, guys. Look it up real quick on your phones. They're going to learn this lesson, and your tax money is going to pay the bill. So they should just continue the meeting and start. It's real easy. You're going to long for the days that we just showed up for five minutes for public comment. Please continue the meeting. Your, your constituents want you to continue the meeting. What you need to do, sir, is you need to redraft the Constitution. Is what you need to do to get us out. We're in recess, Deputy. There is no law being broken. There is no disorderly conduct. Remember that. And, and, and folks that are standing here in the hallway, we're over fire code. So I do need you to go. To oh, fire code now is going to be used to get people out. That means the reporters here are going to have to go, too. You're, you're in violation of Yep. You guys are going to have to go. You don't have a seat. What's that code say, sir? So there's can room you in the back. You can hear and you can still sign up for public comment and chat right there. The guy with the flat shirt can show you where it's at. Any firemen in here, get it. That's it. The yeah. I'm talking to the head chief engineer, and he said that we're at building code. Any firemen in here want to help us question that? Are we at code or not? So I just want those to be here. So we can have a We're going to decline to leave, sir. Please continue the meeting. We're going to decline to leave. Please, please continue the meeting. We have their sergeant on camera last week saying if no law is broken, he won't act. So let's move on. Let's get the meeting going. I think she's going to cry, guys. No, you won't, so. Roy, it's sad that we have to teach our elected representatives the First Amendment like this. I would have never made a sign like this had you kicked, had you not silenced me last week. I spent money to make this just because you guys cut my cam cut my mic. I told you I'd, I'd bring it, and it's here, and it's not going away. Come on, Shannon, stand up and say something. Be a leader. Take a stand. Speak for us. He's not bothering anybody. You guys have tried for four years to make everybody hate me, and right here in one meeting, you're putting them all on my side. What are you doing, man? You're ruining your own plan. <laughs> Just hold your meeting. Just hold your meeting. <laughs> Hey, all you guys, that video, please share it with me. I, my email is dgcotransparency at gmail.com. We'll make them all famous. I've got a YouTube channel. It's called Lawrence Accountability. About 20,000 subscribers. It's the largest YouTube channel in the county. We'll make sure everybody knows. And maybe if you'd pressure, maybe if you'd pressure your mainstream reporters here to do a little bit more better reporting about the violations that happen, maybe the mainstream reporters would stick up for our rights instead of just having their own in routes and having their own ways of getting information. Sure. Shut down the meeting for a half hour just because you guys couldn't handle a couple signs. There's no law being broken. There is no law being broken. There is no law being broken. There is no law being broken. Listen, what I'm going to ask is that you just move down. No, no we're okay. Thank you. We okay, decline. Well, here's, here's part of the problem. When I come in and you are actively yelling. Um, we're, we're in recess right now and there's no disruption happening. So catch up on things before you start accusing crimes. So here's the thing. Per the county commission and per the sheriff, if you are not going to have a seat or move down. I'm not asking you to remove your sign at all. I'm just asking you to move away a little ways from staff. That's all I'm asking. Under what grounds? What am I doing wrong? Because they do. Now remember, this is an ask. We're not being told under threat of arrest, so we're going to decline. Thank you. Stand right here. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to... Channel? Yes, Lieutenant Channel. Oh, Lieutenant Channel? I'm going to ask you to... She's asking. We're going to decline. Thank you. If you don't want to, then I do not have a choice but to ask you to leave. Okay, she's going to ask us to leave again. Okay. I'm going to have to tell you to leave on behalf of the, the county commission. On behalf of the county commission? Okay, we're declining. Thank you.
Thank you. We're going to decline that. Thank you. Okay. Then you, you're going to have to walk out. I'm not leaving. We're going to decline. Thank you. Then, President Sheriff, I'm going to have to arrest you. Under what? Under what? For disrupting a meeting. We are not in. We're, the meeting's in recess. We cannot continue the meeting at this point. No, they cannot continue the meeting. That's not on us. We just have a sign. And you have the whole room here saying it's not a problem. Just disrupting a meeting? Is that what you're saying? We're in recess right now, ma'am. How have I disrupted the meeting? They cannot. We were silent for the whole meeting. I've got evidence that we didn't disrupt the meeting, ma'am. Hold on, right now. Hold on, Michael. How can't they? How can't they continue? How can they not continue the meeting? Is this a sheriff giving a direct order? Here's the thing. You have, you have. So this is on Armbruster himself. No, you can I'm staying. Thank you, Channel. Let's start the meeting, there, everybody. Here we go. Ma'am, you're going to interfere us with what? For what? For disrupting a meeting? I got it. I got it. Disrupting a meeting, huh? What's the charge, guys? Interference with what? Interference with public duties. Interference with public duties. For failing to have a meeting continue, disrupting a public meeting. This is normal. This is free. Why did you bother to ask? It's protected. Well, let's head out this way. We're going to head to my car. This is unfortunate. You're getting named in a lawsuit, channel. Really? Yep, I got you. You disrupted it. You disrupted it. You did it. You disrupted your own meeting. You're the problem. All right, my name is Dr. Justin Speaks. Uh, earlier, somebody said that he trusted that you guys do your research on this, and I gotta tell you, I disagree with that. I don't, I don't trust, trust that you guys, guys did your research, research on this. And the reason, the reason why I don't trust that you guys did your research on this is because, well, aside from the, the fact, fact that they're incompetent, there's, there's no, no trust, trust because, because earlier tonight, tonight I was standing in here with, with my son and, and I just got, got unlawfully arrested and taken, taken to jail for doing, doing nothing wrong. wrong. And, and now I've come, come back to the meeting here to, to speak about how your competence leads you to make bad decisions. And it leads me to make signs that say... Justin, can you pull it back to the wind conversation? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, doing an analogy right now. I'm doing an analogy, so uh, just bear with me, Karen. Would you, can, you, can you give me the same courtesy you gave uh, the other guy that was doing an analogy? All right, so anyways, like I was saying, so my... Uh, Lack of trust in your this in, in your, your judgment, judgment leads me to make, make a sign here that says no hold a sign here that says Patrick, Patrick Kelly is pussy. And, and so, so I just want to know, Patrick, Patrick as, as a giant, giant pussy, pussy, how much how research have you done? done? Sorry, Justin, you'll need to pull it back to the wind conversation. Oh, okay. okay. So let me ask that again, Patrick. So as a giant pussy, how much research have you done on the wind turbine stuff that we're talking about right now? I'm afraid Shannon. Shannon. Seltzen fighting words have oh, well, that's fighting words? You can that's walk the stage. Oh, oh, so that's that that disorderly conduct, conduct then? then? That's, that's fighting, fighting words? Thank you. That's, that's fighting. fighting. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Why did I just get shut down? What was the reason? What was the reason? How much time do I got left? Fifty seconds. All right, here we go. So, what do we have next, sir? No, what, hold on a second. What, what is going on here? Why? Why did you just shut off my mic? I'm asking a direct question of how much research was done on this. That's that doesn't. What, how much more do you have to be on topic for that? How much research have you done on this topic that we're talking about? What can is going please, on here? Can you please sit down? Your public comment is over. It looks like I got. 22 more seconds, so because I haven't done anything wrong, I'm going to talk for another... Oh, you stopped it. All right. Well, then I guess I got about 10 more seconds then, so... I think it will be... The other question the I have then is, turn. Shannon, as a giant bitch, 
How much research so, have you? Thank you. On May 1st, 2024, so three weeks ago from today, I was uh, unlawfully arrested at the Douglas County Commission meeting for standing with a sign that said, women have more balls than Patrick too. I was uh, arrested that night. I was taken to jail. I bonded out for $750 and the charge was interference with conduct of public business in public buildings. And today was supposed to be my arraignment date. And instead I got a letter from the Douglas County District Attorney that says to the judge of the district court regarding the state versus Justin Spies, arrest date May 1st, 2024. A complaint will not be filed by the district attorney's office against the above named individual at this time. I declare under penalty of perjury that the above and foregoing is true and correct, executed on May 20th, 2024, Suzanne Valdez, district attorney. So that is an unlawful arrest on some bogus trumped up charges. That the freedom of the press is one of the great bulwarks of liberty and can never be restrained but by despotic governments. Please, please, please.